me say it again. The 2020 election was the most secure election in American history. Period. This same side accuses anyone who disagrees with them of perpetrating a big lie or the big delusion. The big lie keeps getting repeated. The big lie is just that, a big lie. These techniques are used every single day by law enforcement. In Across the country, we buy 10 trillion signals. So what was the criterion that you set? Final decision was they had to have been to 10 or more drop boxes, meaning unique visits inside of a space, and five or more visits to one, of the, one or more of these organizations. Let's identify a large number of drop boxes and multiple trips, and that way we're going to catch not all the offenders, right, but the worst offenders. What is a mule? A mule is by our definition, a person that is involved in picking up ballots from locations and running them to the drop boxes. So you have the collectors on the one hand, you have the stash houses, which are the, the nonprofits, and then you have the, the mules that are doing the drops. Zoom in here. We so the them. mule is the delivery man, the, is the delivery woman. Man. And, and what you're saying is they have a starting point or multiple starting points, and then they have the end point. And the end point is the drop box, That's right. right? That's right. But you're saying that they're, they, they get the ballots from somewhere and then they go deposit them in right. multiple drop boxes. What you see here on the screen is a single person on a single day in Atlanta, Georgia. They went to 28 drop boxes in five organizations in one day. What are the orange dots? Those are drop boxes. And what is the blue tracks? That is a smoothed out pattern of life so that we could take the sort of the movement of the individual cell phone signals marry them together into something that's visual. I think it was Pennsylvania that really gave Biden the election. Philadelphia alone, we've identified more than 1,100 mules at rates well beyond anything we'd seen. Closer to 50 drop boxes each. Each guy going to 50 each, drop boxes? Each. 1,100. We saw people driving back and forth to New Jersey across the bridge. You're saying the ballots may not even be from Philadelphia or from Pennsylvania. Well, we're saying, we're saying somebody should but you're saying that the origin yeah. point appears to be Jersey. It's one thing to have the scientific evidence, which is persuasive on its own merits. But do you have video evidence? We do. How much of it do you have? Four million minutes of surveillance video around the country. And I believe it was the state of Georgia saying this video does not exist and we can't tell you why it doesn't exist. Right. That was in, in Fulton County. We have correspondence like that from a lot of states. In the absence of video, and that geospatial data is key to decoding, you know, what the greater scheme was. But in the and so these are the kind of things, four million minutes of this. This was an organized effort to subvert a free and fair election. This is organized crime. You can't look at this data in its aggregate and believe anything otherwise. Now we come to the most important question of all. Was the magnitude of vote trafficking in these key swing states enough to tip the balance in the 2020 presidential election? Georgia, 250 mules, averaging 24 drop box visits and five illegal ballots per drop. That's 30,000 illegally trafficked votes, far more than the 12,000 vote difference between Trump and Biden. So Georgia, with 16 electoral votes, moves over into the Trump column. In Arizona, the numbers are roughly the same. 200 mules, averaging 20 dropbox visits and five illegal ballots per drop. That's 20,000 illegal votes. Again, these illegal votes are substantially more than the 10,000 vote margin that gave the state's 11 electoral votes to Biden. In Philadelphia, Pennsylvania alone, 1,100 mules, averaging 50 drop box visits and five ballots per visit. That's 275,000 illegal votes, again, comfortably exceeding the 80,000 vote margin between Trump and Biden. So Pennsylvania's 20 electoral votes goes for Trump. Shockingly, even this narrow way of looking at just our 2,000 mules in these swing states gives Trump the win with 279 electoral votes to Biden's 259. But no one thinks that our 2,000 mules were the only mules trafficking illegal votes. To widen the search, Greg and his team lowered the criterion from 10 or more to 5 or more drop boxes. This revealed a huge upsurge in the number of mules from 2,000 to 54,000. 54,000 mules. Next, they used a very conservative estimate of just 3 ballots per drop box visit. Now when we multiply this increased number of mules times the 5 drop box visits per mule times just 3 illegal votes per drop, we find election fraud on an astonishing scale. In Wisconsin, 83,565 illegal votes were trafficked. In Georgia, 92,670. In Pennsylvania, 209,505. 
In Michigan, 226,590, and in Arizona, 207,435. Using this calculus, Trump would have won all the key states. And the final electoral vote, 305 to 233.